Baking rocks is part of the porosity and permeability activities. And the question we're trying to answer is, do all types of rocks hold the same amount of water? Many people think that groundwater, crude oil, and natural gas are all pooled in reservoirs below the Earth's surface. And they're partially correct, but the reservoirs are actually solid rock. The rocks have pore spaces or holes in them where gases and liquids might be stored. So this activity shows that some rocks are better than others at providing the reservoir for water, crude oil, or natural gas. The first thing we need are rocks that are dried out. Baking them in an oven at 170 degrees for one to two hours on a baking sheet will do the trick. But please let the rocks cool before you handle them. We're going to mass each one, record the mass, and then drop them gently into a cup of water deep enough to cover them. Now, for the purposes of this activity, I went ahead and already measured them. So we've got the ones that are soaked in water overnight. Paul, if you'll grab a, the shale and uh, pull it out, measure it. The mass for the shale is 6.74 grams. Got it. All right. And if we can do the next one, which is limestone. And in Ohio, you will find many of these rocks, but not all of them. So our bedrock is made primarily of limestone and sandstone. Limestone is about uh, 41.81 grams. And the next one is granite. Okay, so after that, then, what we want to figure out is what's our difference in our before and after weights, and then what ranking do they have? So which ones are best at holding potentially oil and gas or water? So if we do the differences, shale is a little less than one gram. Limestone is a little bit more than a gram. Granite didn't really change. Sandstone was about 2.7 grams. Conglomerate was about 3.7 grams difference. And marble didn't really change significantly. So of our six rocks, conglomerate would be ranked first, and then sandstone, then limestone, and then shale. So which rocks would you think would be least likely to be holding crude oil and natural gas? Uh, like marbles and granites and, you know, those more dense rocks that don't have the uh, porous properties to hold um, liquids like water and uh, crude oil. How might knowing which rocks are good reservoirs for oil and gas, how would that be important to the crude oil industry? It really just tells you uh, better places to look. It'd be much more effective to be drilling for crude oil in a area that has a lot of uh, conglomerate and sandstone bedrock as opposed to drilling somewhere where there's a lot of granite and marble. Exactly. So thanks so much for your help. You try this in your classroom and see what you come up with.